The following steps are carefully taken and consciously carried out when a student is asked to assist the police in their investigations. First, the teacher or staff will be discreet when bringing the student to meet with the police. They will ensure that no undue attention is drawn to the student. Second, the school leaders will first ascertain the student's physical and emotional well-being before letting the police speak to the student. The school leaders will also request that the number of police officers speaking to the student be kept to a minimum. Third, to afford greater assurance to the student, the school leaders or staff will request to be present if an initial interview is to be conducted at the school. Fourth, should the police decide to bring the student to the police station for further questioning, the school will request that the police first contact one of the student's parents to inform them of the situation and where the student will be brought to. The school will also ensure that the student has something to eat or is not hungry. Fifth, the school will request that the student not be handcuffed and be escorted to the police vehicle discreetly with minimal exposure to other students and school staff. However, the police retain final discretion to use handcuffs depending on the circumstances of each case. Six, after the student is released by the police, school staff will keep in touch with the parents of the student to render support and work out any follow-up steps to look after the well-being of the student. Seventh, when the student returns to school, the school will closely monitor the well-being of the student. And lastly, the school will protect the confidentiality of the student's identity and the ongoing police investigations. These eight steps are not new to our schools. In Benjamin's case, the school worked with the police to ensure that the relevant steps were taken. In particular, when the police first arrived and requested to speak with the student, the principal sent a member of his staff to the canteen to look for Benjamin. This was done discreetly and Benjamin was quietly brought to the principal's office. The principal spoke with Benjamin and informed him that a police officer would be speaking with him. The principal also assured Benjamin that he and his staff would stay with him throughout the meeting. Thereafter, one police officer entered the room to speak to Benjamin. At the end of the meeting, when Benjamin was required to go to the police station, the principal told Benjamin to call his mother. The principal also ensured that Benjamin's mother knew where Benjamin would be taken to. The principal also gave instructions to the school counsellor to give Benjamin's mother a call on the same day to check on Benjamin's well-being. <laughs> 